Hey everybody, welcome to Me and My Mirror. Decided I would do a shot to show you my dress that I'm wearing tonight. We're gonna go out and see a disco cover band called Boogie Nights. Here where I live and it's gonna be super fun. So I wanted to do a super glam look for the cam. Glam for the cam. So I'm gonna go all out with um, a full face done in a purple, of course, purple and black. What did you think? Also, I'll show you real quick. I got organized, as you can see down here, I got um, a storage unit thing to keep all my supplies so they're not all strewn about behind me. Um, and then I also have some in front of me now, but that doesn't mean that I can find anything. I'm already like, wait a second, I can't find, where did I put everything? So I think I'm gonna start with uh, a foundation that I have been wearing for a long time. And it's a CoverGirl foundation. It's nothing that you would probably see at the store because it's probably over a year old. And I'm thinking maybe they don't make it anymore. It's called the Vitality Healthy Elixir. The reason I'm using this one today is, well, I love, I love the applicator. I love that you can just kind of scoop it in there and put it on your fingers and put it right on your skin or on your sponge pop it right on your face. But the reason I'm using it today specifically is because I'm getting a little bit of color on my skin and it's time to ditch those lighter foundations for something a little darker. So I'm gonna go in with this foundation. This is a full coverage foundation. It is very thick and creamy and I do really enjoy it in the summertime. The problem is my dry skin, so I really had to do a lot of moisturizing today. Um, well, every day in the summer, every day in the winter too. I have dry skin all year round, I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, <laughs> but I did some extra moisturizing for the video today, so my skin would be all supple and glowing and luscious. And as you guys, if you guys have watched my videos, you know that I have these horrid white spots um, I've done a video on how to cover up these horrid white spots. Excuse me for a moment. My dog is eating, eating something. Extra? No. Give it to mama. Give it to mama. Where is it? Where'd it go? No. Oh, for Christ's sake. He ate my freaking sharpener. The dog ate the sharpener. Isn't that just great? I don't even know how I even got that. And that, I should just start over, but I'm not going to. I am instead going to go in with some powder, which I'm positive that I put in this little drawer right here. Look at me, super organized. This is the one that I got from the Dollar Tree, and I do so like it. It is infused pressed powder. I'm not sure what it's infused with exactly because you know, it does say talc, which we don't like. Um, and then a bunch of other things, something. Oh, okay, Camellia Sensus Leaf Extract. So it's trying to sound all fancy and infused, but you know, it is what it is. I don't use a lot of, pow a, lot of ugh, a lot of powder because again, I do have dry skin. And the more powder I use, the more things settle into the wrinkles, etc. Go back and finish up. I forgot that I had foundation on my neck before my dog stole my. Uh, I know, I know other YouTubers. I watch you guys, and you have dogs, and they do crazy things while you're while you're videotaping. Like everything's fine. You're going about your day. You're trying your videotape, and all of a sudden your dog goes crazy. I don't know what's going on. So I'm going to pop some of that foundation here on my eyelid and then I'm going to come across with some powder to set that for the night because it is going to be hot and humid out there as it is everywhere, I'm told. I go over that. I'm going to use my finger 
to go over that foundation on my eye. And then I'm gonna find a pretty purple palette for my eyes. Pretty purple palette, a PPP. I haven't decided anything else other than the palette that I wanna use. <laughs> so that's not very good, because time's ticking, isn't it, guys? I know that you adore watching me, but I know you don't wanna watch me for the next three hours. I'm going to try something a little different. Um, this is my purple palette, I call it, because it's mostly purple. It's got some pinks in there too, but it's mostly purples, and um, it's beautiful. But I'm going to start with a layer, a pretty thick layer of some glitter, because like I said, tonight is disco party night, and I really want this glitter to stand out. So I'm going to put the white glitter all over my lid and it's nicely sticking it's nicely adhering to the foundation that i put on it's really sticking good so i've never done sparkles first so let's try sparkles first and then we'll go in with some color i'm going to use purple moon up here in the corner and i'm going to put that all over outside corner of my eye. Well, actually the middle, more towards the middle. I'm gonna to try to do a little bit darker shade on the outside so we can look nice and disco. Disco ready, boys and girls. Anybody else going out dancing on a Friday night? They're playing outdoors, which I love. I love listening to music outdoors so much more than indoors. It's just, you can, you know, the summer breeze, the moon, the stars. I just love it. Now let's do um, a sharp angled brush. And let's do some darker purple out in the corner of the eye here. I'm going to use this darkest of dark, this royal right here. And I'm going to give myself a nice crease up above my normal crease and then I'm going to make myself a purple wing going right down here and also I'm going to drag that along my upper lash line. So we have lots of purple action going today. Just tap that really close to your lash line. I don't want to get it on the lid. And I am going to blend in this darker purple in the corner. Blend that all the way down. Now the glitter is making it a little challenging, but I like it. It's definitely poking through the purple um, eyeshadow, so I really like that. I'm really digging that effect. Okay, let's do the same on the other side with that royal. I'm using a flat brush. I guess I probably should have told you that, or maybe I did. I don't know. And I'm dipping it in some water because water gives you increased pigment. And that's what I'm going for for tonight's wild and crazy dance party. I'm looking forward to listening to some Bee Gees, maybe a little Brick House. You know, a little something like that. And, you know, you got those friends that say, Oh, I can't dance. I'm not going to dance. I look like such a fool. Well, they're going to dance. I'm not going to hang out with them unless they're dancing. I believe there is a song called Safety Dance that goes something like, Well, if your friends don't dance, and if they don't dance, well, they're no friends of mine. So that's my motto for tonight, baby. So let's get that purple wing and then go in real close to your lash line now you can use any color for this guys you could use some bright green i'm just going with my outfit tonight i've got the sparkles and i've got the gemstones here up on the lapel here and uh so i'm definitely purpling it out but obviously this look is great with any color and with any color sparkles you just want to keep you know, those lighter colors in towards the corner and the darker colors. I'm going in with a little bit of pink now. 
for the inner corner of my eye. And then I'm going in, should I stop with the sparkles or should I keep going? I haven't decided. I think I'm gonna do a little more smudging. This is definitely my idea of a purple smoky eye. I'm going to go in with that same flat brush. So this is super easy. You don't have to switch brushes. I'm gonna go in with that same super dark purple. And I'm going to go in as close as I can to my lower lids. Lower lids, I'm trying to say. Lower lashes, that's what I'm trying to say. Into my lower lashes. I'm the same on the other side. Did I mention that I would love it if you would like and subscribe? And I would like it even more if you would leave some comments. I am just dying to know what you guys think about all this silliness. I mean, am I a complete buffoon? Am I somewhat entertaining? <laughs> Have you learned anything at all? Or has this been just a complete waste of my energy? Now, the funny thing is I really like doing it. I really like doing my makeup and talking at the same time, which is kind of strange. Um, okay, let's put that palette away. And you know, who else am I gonna talk to besides my dog? I need somebody to talk to and you guys are just such good listeners. You're very quiet. All right, we have to do some basic maintenance things today before we, well, after we went crazy with the purple. I like it. I'm digging the purple. I think my friends are going to dig the purple. I think even the band is going to shout out. Actually, I know the bass player, so I've got an in, you know. Maybe we'll get some VIP treatment tonight to meet the band. Maybe even hang out with the band. You know, that's the coolest. So what do you think, guys? Go in with some brown eyebrow pencil. And I really need to get these waxed or wax them myself or threaded or something. They're getting to be really bushy and ridiculous looking. Now I'm contemplating black. Contemplating doing some black um, eyeliner, but I think I'm not going to. I think I'm not, but I am going to do some contouring. So I've got my contour stick here called, it is called the Contour Stick by LA Colors. Yes. And then a highlighter stick also by LA Colors. These are both great. You can pick them up, but believe it or not, I was going to say Walgreens, but now I got these at the Dollar Tree. Thank you, Dollar Tree, for bringing in some LA Colors. So I'm just going to swipe that here. And down here, right below my brow. Brow, why can't I talk? Why can't I just talk, people? I'm trying to say cheekbone. I need to just think. Think before you speak, lady, think. Okay, let's go in here with some color. Some color down here on the sides of my nose. There we go, there'll be a little color on my chin. And then I'm gonna take my highlighter and go up here on above my cheekbone on both sides. Really get that striped on there and then a nice stripe down the nose. A little bit in the center of the forehead. A little bit of the lip here. And now I've just gotten all serious and quiet. I'm not talking about disco bands anymore. Disco. Tell me what you guys like. Do you guys like disco? Is anybody still into the good old stuff from the 70s? Of course, I like rock and roll also. Now I'm just going to use this tight brush here, tight bristled brush, to work in that bronzer. I don't use bronzer very often, and this is why I find it to be quite taxing. <laughs> really, it requires a lot of, of going over and over and over. And maybe, you know, the LA, the LA colors from the Dollar Tree isn't the best of all times when it comes to makeup, but I like it. It's good. It gets the job done, okay? So coming in on this side, trying to blend in, practically pushing my face off here. I'm pushing so hard on this thing. Come on. There we go. 
We're all beginners here, guys. Even though I've been doing this for my whole life, I'm still a beginner because I'm always trying new things. And that makes it just, it just stays fresh. I don't ever wear the same makeup every day. I don't have a certain makeup routine that I put on my face every day. I like to jazz it up a little bit. Now I've got my new favorite Revolution lip contour lip gloss that I absolutely adore to use as a blush. I'm gonna pop that in here in between my my contouring and my highlighting and just rub that in there with my finger rub it into my highlight a little bit i don't want to cover that up too much and look at how pigmented that is i only use a couple of dots and it is just super pigmented and it gives you like the best glow go back and watch my video where i talked about well, I talked about it multiple times. The first time I used it as a actual lip contour, which I still don't understand the premise of that at all. But then I thought, well, let's try it on my eyes and it looks great as eyeshadow. And then I said, well, let's try it on my cheeks. And I really, really like it as a blush. So far, that's my favorite. Look guys, I have glitter from that is transferred from my fingers onto my cheeks. I'm digging that. So I'm gonna grab a little bit more of that. Let's see, I think I'm gonna get some of the Stargaze, this lavender glitter, and just pop that here where my highlighter should be, or is, I guess, and just let it stick to my highlighter. There we go, wow. That is really something. I still haven't quite blended in my contour here. You know, and a lot of people put their contouring underneath their foundation, and maybe that's the way to go. I don't know. It's up to you. You just have to practice. You just have to experiment. You just have to say, let me try this. Of course, when you have time, don't do it like when you're headed to work. Don't do it. Let me try this. <laughs> oh, like right now, let me try this. I'm simply looking for my mascara. I found it. All right, I'm using the e.l.f mascara that I've been using for a really long time. I'm actually in the market for a new mascara. This one is about out and I'm not the kind of person that has 10 different mascaras. I just don't see the need. So I would love a mascara recommendation. I have somewhat thick um, dark lashes but what I need is length. So I'm looking for whatever you can give me for like, oh, and also guess what? Timu is sending me, well, I bought it. I wish they were sending me things. I purchased from Timu some heated eyelash curlers or one, I guess it showed two, but I only bought one. <laughs> it's pink and it's coming in like a few days. I'm so excited. Now I'm going to finish this look with purple, of course. And I'm not even gonna use any lip liner. I'm just gonna go right for the purple. Oh, you know what? You know what instead I think I'm gonna do? Remember this little set that I got from Timu? It's supposed to be for your eyelids, um, eyeshadow and different shimmers. And I didn't really get this at all either. <laughs> but what I did get it for and start using it for is my lips. So look at this, you guys. Let's just shimmer this up. Let's shimmer the heck. Since my eyes are so strikingly purple for tonight, <laughs> I think I'm gonna just go with the sparkly, what do you think? The sparkly white lips to go with the purple eyes and the bright hot, oh, and then of course I'll take my hair down. I won't actually wear this tonight and get some volume there and we are ready to go out boys and girls i'll see you at the party